Hey guys, in this video I wanted to go ahead and discuss what uh, query sets are. Query sets are what Django uses to interact with the database um, pretty much to get data from the database and query data in, in all sorts of ways. It's how um, Django generates database queries. It's the, the layer that you work with that Django then translates it to be something that the database can understand, whether the database is MySQL, Postgres, SQLite, whatever. Um, but in Django, it's always going to be the same. And what you're going to write is called a query set. So let's go ahead and take a look at the posts which we just built. Um, so if we look at posts, we have these three here. Um, let's go ahead and um, here, we, we did this if, and I gave a little caveat that you shouldn't be doing this in your templates. You generally want to do as little in the templates as possible. So let's go ahead and get rid of this for now, and we will see that there will be four articles here now. Okay? Um, so let's go ahead. Now we can easily see what Quartus will do. Um, with Django list view, um, it automatically does a query set of your model. Um, it's getting all of your model, right? So what it's doing behind the scenes is it's going to be running this query set objects.all, right? This, this will return the same thing because this is what Django is actually doing behind the scenes. Um, so you'll see there's a couple parts to this. There's three parts to this. There's the, there's the, the model, there's the manager, and then there's the like function, manager function or method, you can call it, right? Um, this, we don't have to worry too much about. We will talk a little bit more about this later. Um, but this essentially is the default manager, which just says um, is using all of the post records. Uh, like in the future, like you could do like publish, and that will limit it to just the published articles. And there's also other stuff to do, but we won't get too much into that right now. Um, so this is running a database query that's going to grab all of the records in the post table, right? Um, now, there's a few really common uh, methods as well. One is called filter. Um, so here we can do publish is equal to true, right? And this is going to run a database query that's going to filter to just the published records. So here you can see that we have these three that are published. Um, let's go ahead and um, I'm just going to go ahead and add one more published just to show you, um, just to make sure you guys know I'm not lying to you. Uh, published. Okay. So these three are published, right? And we can also do the opposite. Let's say, um, what do we want to do? Posts models. Uh, if we want to exclude certain things, um, we can go ahead and do, if we just want to, we can just exclude, so if we just do exclude or publish is equal to false, that's essentially doing the same thing. Um, that's going to run, and it's only going to return the true because we are excluding what is the false. With a boolean, you can do either way. Um, with fields that like you have types, like say there's 10 types and you just want to exclude one of them, you can just do exclude instead of filtering for those nine types. Um, then here if we do filter here. Okay, um, so this is just returning the, the ones that are false. Right? Okay, um, so if you see here, if we go back and we show all of our published articles. Um, filter, publish. Actually, oh, I need to save that. Okay, so if we have all of our, actually, I kind of just want to do it all. We'll just do this for now, right? Um, we can say this is uh, 1059 on September 8th. Let's say we want the most recent ones first. Um, we can go ahead and order. We can put an order by, order by, and we can do, uh, create date. Um, by default, this is going to return ascending. So I think this is not going to be the order that we want it to be. Um, we want it to actually be the other way 
descending, and to do that, all you do is put a little dash in front. Okay, so we'll save that. And there we go, we have our most recent ones up front, okay? And let's see, so some other stuff we can do, um, it's not really useful here, because all of it um, is by the same author, but we can also filter uh, by a, a foreign key. So here we have post, and it's connected to an, an author instance, or an author model, right? Um, so we can go ahead and do uh, like filter author, and to do a foreign key, you do double underline. If I can spell author right, it might be nice too. Username is equal to admin, okay? So if we do this, and then it's gonna return everything that the author is admin. Um, just to show that that's actually working, we can test it out, and now it's returning nothing, okay? Cool, so everything that we have talked about so far is returning a query set um, that returns a query set of these different records. Now, when we have a query set, we can also do certain things that return things that aren't query sets, like count. Now, this would return four, but um, this will give us an error because this query set right here, um, Django is expecting us to give it a query set of, of records. Um, and what we're doing is we are, instead of returning a query set, this would be returning just a count, which would be four. Um, so yeah, hopefully uh, you guys have learned some of the basics about query sets, what they do, and that that's how you interact with the database from Django. Um, you can get all sorts of, query sets are very important. Um, I do suggest uh, taking a look at the docs, at the Django docs, and kind of just going through this and playing around, you know, get a little bit of a data set, Play around with all of all of these different things. Make sure you have a good uh, make sure you have a, a good idea about how these queries are working because you will be using these forever um, and you need to understand um, how to use them. But um, in this video, we only talked about the basics. Um, that's that's what this is about is understanding the basics of how to use it. Um, and I will leave the more advanced stuff up to you to go take a look at the docs and, and play around with it. That's the best way to learn anyway, um, once you know the right direction to go. Um, okay, cool. Well, until next time, uh, have, have a good day and happy jangling.